guys it's Steph welcome back to my channel today I'm filming a beauty routines video and this is just a note page in my Erin Condren um, my Erin Condren planner these are my original beauty routines they have been amended slightly so what I'm actually gonna do today is go through what I used to do with you guys and then I have um, some sticky notes here which I'm just gonna stick over the top of each category um, and explain to you sort of what's changed and what hasn't, etc. So, let's just break it down really quick. Um, let me zoom you guys out just a touch. So, this is my page. I've just got beauty, um, routines, and just some decorative stickers and stuff. These two categories are covered just because I feel like my shaving routine and my feminine care routine are just a little bit private. Um, so I'm not going to go over those with you guys, but I do have eight routines. I have hair, nails, shaving, face, body, feet, tanning, and feminine. As I said, shaving and feminine, I'm not going to go over in this video. I'll let you guys use your imagination for those. Um, but if there is ever a, like a serious interest in those, then I might... I might do it because I'm not the kind of person to not share things but at the same time I do just want to keep a little bit private at this point while my channel is still growing etc um, but I am going to go through the other six views so hair nails face body tanning and feet if you would like individual videos more in depth on any of these with products and stuff leave me a comment below there has been some interest so I just want to see what exactly people want to see so I'll just zoom you guys in and I'm going to start with my hair routine just here. So for my hair routine, I do a an oil treatment overnight. Why is this not very focused? Maybe my writing's just blurry. Oh well. Um so I do a hair routine every night. I'm just going to cover this side. It's less of a distraction. There we go. Uh, I do a hair routine, not every night, sorry, twice a week. I do this exact um, process. So I will have a shower on one night. Let's just say on a month. Say I'm going to do this routine on a Tuesday night or a Tuesday rather. Um, so on the Monday night, I will wash my hair. I, I'll rinse my hair just with some hot water and I'll put an oil treatment in it. I will leave that oil treatment in all night. When I wake up in the morning and have my morning shower on the Tuesday morning, I will shampoo and condition my hair with an anti-dandruff shampoo. I do have dandruff, um, so I do use an anti-dandruff shampoo for that. And then previously, as soon as I did that, I would brush it out. I would let it air dry throughout the day. I would twist and cut my hair. I twist my hair into like a big chunk and cut the split ends that come out and then I would use a split end balm on the on the ends and then I'd put in a leave-in conditioner and that would be that. Looking at my hair routine now, let's just pop my little sticky note down here. So similarly I still do the oil treatment overnight. I will then shampoo and condition my hair followed by a treatment conditioner. So I will use my anti-dandruff shampoo, my anti-dandruff conditioner, and then I will use a treatment conditioner after that. And that protects my hair so that when I get out of the shower and I brush it out, while it's still damp, it's not going to get, um, it's not going to get damaged. So these are all in the morning still. It doesn't add very much time at all to add the treatment conditioner because I do my shampoo and conditioner, put the treatment conditioner in. It adds maybe five minutes because I do have to let it sit for a couple of minutes before rinsing it out. Then I will brush my hair and let it air dry all day, followed by twisting and cutting the split ends, the split end balm. And instead of using a leave-in conditioner, I now have a mousse treatment that I will I use. If you saw my March favourites, it's the 11 treatment, the miracle treatment that I showed in that. And then I'll brush it out again before going to bed. I feel like with beauty routines, you do change them up quite frequently, depending on sort of like what you need in your routine, given like the circumstances that you're in. I do use many products but I feel like they aren't very bad for me so I'm not overly concerned about them uh, okay so the next one I'm going to do is nails and this has actually grown considerably 
Um, it's now not just nails, it's nails and hands. So I originally would just cut, file and buff my nails, put on some cuticle oil, and then push back my, cuticle oil, my cuticles once the oil was on them, like in my nails here, and then use a hand cream. Well, hasn't this one expanded? It's now my nails and hands category. And before I do anything, I will soak my hands in warm water. By soak, I don't mean just sort of stand there with like a, a dish or something, but I do want to get a nail dish. Um, original, at the moment, I'm just sort of running some hot water in the sink and I just sort of soak my fingernails in the warm water. Then I will cut, file, and buff my nails. And then I will also push my cuticles back and also trim them if there's anywhere that they're like, you know how sometimes you get those little parts on your nails that will come off I will um I will cut those after my hands have been soaked so my skin is all soft after that I'll soak them in warm water again and then after that I will dry them off and apply cuticle oil followed by a hand and nail cream I let the hand and nail cream uh, the cuticle oil so, sorry soak into my cuticles and then I will put on the hand and nail cream then I haven't written it on here, but I'll apply my nail hardener. So I just take a cotton pad and I just rub over the top of the nails where the cream doesn't actually soak into. And then I'll put on my nail hardener. And then if I'm putting on false nails, I'll put on false nails. My nail and hands routine, I do once a week. Um, because when I do wear false nails, I will wear them for about a week at a time. The next one down the bottom here is shaving. As I said, I'm not going to show you guys that because I just feel it is a little bit private. Uh, we might do my feet next, feet and tanning next, and then come to face last because face is the biggest one. So my feet one. My original routine was a foot spa with crystals, like those crystals that soak into the bath and stuff. You can get ones for your feet. Um, cuticles cut and push back, nails cut, filed and buffed. Same on my toes as it is with my fingernails, really. Use a Puma Stone and then a foot spa with a fizzer. So it's kind of like a bath bomb, but it's for your feet as well. Then a foot scrub, soak my feet in cold, in cool water, paint my nails and then put a foot lotion on. This one has changed considerably, but also not a great deal. So we'll put on my new sticky note. So I now, instead of having a foot spa straight up, I will soak my feet in warm water and then I will still cut, file and buff my nails and also push my cuticles back and cut them and use the pumice stone. Then I have a foot spa in the warm water um, with, either, with either a fizzle or crystals. I just realized I didn't put on my back bracket there, but that's okay. I, have a, I do this routine, this particular routine once a week, so I will alternate. A fizzer one week, crystals the next, and so on. Then I will use my foot scrub still. You can see it's that's sort of like the same here so far. Then I'll soak my feet in cool water. Then I'll apply a nail hardener, which is the same one I use on my fingernails. I use for my toes as well. And then I'll put on a foot lotion over the top of that nail hardener. Um, the reason I do that is because... Wait a minute. This isn't right. No, I, that shouldn't be a nail hardener. That should be a cuticle oil. Again, same as what I use for my nails and hands. It should be a cuticle oil. Um, then my foot lotion. Then my nail hardener goes in. I don't know why I've... Um, I don't know. I don't know what I've done here. Um, because that is all similar to my nail routine. Because they are still nails at the end of the day. Then I'll use a foot cooler spray just to rejuvenate my feet a little bit and um, just bring a little bit of um, life back into them rather than them being so moisturized and softened. The cooler spray keeps them soft but it also cools them down a little bit and really gets my extremities back to a normal temperature rather than having a moisturized lotion into them and have them being too hot. This is important for me just because if my feet are hot, I don't cope. I can't I can't deal with it. You know how some people have like cool extremities? Mine are hot. If my hands or my feet get too hot, I can't deal. Not so much my hands, actually. Most of my feet. But the cooler spray really does help me. And then I'll paint my nails. As I said, I do this once a week. But my, if I'm painting my nails, my toenails, I'll leave them for a month. So it'll just be a touch-up, really, if I need it on there. 
My next routine is, more. Well, my next routines rather, are tanning and feminine. As I said, feminine is covered, so I won't be going over that today. I will be doing my tanning one, however. So for tanning, I used to exfoliate, then I'd use a shower scrub, put my tanner on. The one that I use constantly doesn't have to be washed off, um, like my standard daily toner doesn't have to be washed off, so I will leave it on overnight and then I will um, when I have a shower in the morning like anything excess would come off um, but I use that I would use that overnight and then I put a moisturizer on just to even out any spots that has changed my body one is just on the same sticky note so we will get to that in a minute but just for arguments sake at the moment so now I use my shower scrub first and then I exfoliate. The reason I do this is because my shower scrub I use my hands for, my exfoliator I use a loofah. Um, so the exfoliator helps to also take off, because I'll exfoliate with a shower gel or with nothing um, after my shower scrub. So it just helps to get rid of any extra beads and stuff. Use the same toner overnight and then in the morning I'll have a cool water shower. I don't use hot water when I rinse off my tan. And then I'll use a moisturizer to even it out anywhere that it needs it. Now, I tan on average about once a week. That's sort of my aim. But at the moment, I don't have a tan. I've steered off it from Mardi Gras just because I was so tanned for so long. But I need, do need to get back into it as well. While we're just down here, we're just going to move into the body section here. Um... I originally would exfoliate, then use a shower gel and a body lotion. It's actually virtually exactly the same. It's just my exfoliation and my shower gel, I I do together. I exfoliate with a shower, a, bleh, with a shower gel, whereas when I do it while I'm tanning, I actually don't use a product 99.9% .9 of the time. So I'm just going to leave that one sticking there and just leave that blank. I'm going to zoom you out just a touch and we're going to do my face one. So my face is probably the biggest, let's see if I've got anything I can cover these with. There we go. So my face, I originally would use a cleanser, then an exfoliator, a facial brush, a facial mask, toner, vitamin E serum, a vitamin E cream, a moisturizer, and then I would use a lip scrub, a lip conditioner, my lash and brow oil, and then I'd have an eye mask. This has changed up and then some. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to stick this down and I'm going to zoom you guys back down to go over it, just so I'm not holding so many elements. So basically for my face, now I will use a cleansing makeup wipe first or just a standard makeup wipe, whatever. It's really just to get my makeup off in the first instance. Then I will use a cleanser and an exfoliator. This is, I do my face care routine twice a week. That's what this particular one is assessing. Anything with a star is everything that I do every single day though. So I'll use a makeup wipe and a cleanser every day, then a toner, a tea tree zit zapper, a vitamin E cream, a lip conditioner and a moisturizer every single day. The two days that I do a um the full routine though, I'll use a makeup wipe, then a cleanser, then I'll use an exfoliator in the shower. These ones alternate, so my face brush and lip scrub go together, my Biore strips and my face mask go together. So one day a week, I'll use the face brush and the lip scrub, and the other day that I do my face routine, I'll use a Biore strip and a face mask. After that, I use my toner, then I use my tea tree zit zapper, then I use a vitamin E serum, and a vitamin E cream. The difference between these is a serum just helps to put a bit more of a hydration back into my skin after it, like because the tea tree oils it brings the oil, like it dries out any pimples or anything that I have, blemishes that I have. Um, so I let that soak in before I apply the serum. 
And then I use the vitamin E cream over the top. Then I will use my lip and brow, my lash and brow oil, sorry. And that's just to really help my lashes and my eyebrows um, grow nicely and keep the hair healthy. Then I use my lip conditioner and my moisturizer. And then finally, I finish off with an eye mask. This is a cooling eye mask, and I just do it to help relieve some puffiness and just relax after such an intense routine. So that's going to be it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, give me a thumbs up. Comment down below if you'd like to see any of these as more in-depth routines with products and how I do them and stuff. I'd love to show you guys that and I do know there's been some interest so I just want to know what it is exactly that people want to see or if you have any questions about anything in my routine also let me know that down in the comments below. Just as a disclaimer at this point I will say that I am not a beauty person um, in any sense of the word I don't know if any of this is like bad or anything like that for me at this point all of this stuff is actually working really well I'm not gonna stop just because someone's like oh you shouldn't use a serum and a cream or you know whatever like all at the moment this stuff is all working really 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 well for me and I'm happy with it so I don't want to change it um, but if you guys do have any questions I will try my best to answer them professionally and such um but yeah as i said if you like this video give it a thumbs up comment all of those things down below or just leave me a comment for fun because i like comments don't forget to open my description box um there's links to erin condren oh hello and confessions by court all of which i have referral codes and or coupon codes for so be sure to check them out if you like planners don't forget to check out Planner B, Hey Tia, and the Lifestyle Collective. All three channels are linked down below as well. They're good friends of mine, and I'd love for you to go and check them out. And I think that's all that I've really got in my description box, aside from my social media. So please don't forget to check me out on there as well. I'd love to add you to my Instagram family and my Facebook family. I just think it would be so much fun to connect with all you guys. And... Yeah, my next video that's going to be sort of beauty related will be a what's in my shower video at the request of Georgia. Hey Georgia, because I know you'll watch this. So keep an eye out for that. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. And I will catch you guys in my next one. Bye.